I'm going to show you guys how to construct a two-point perspective. Let's go to the board. So there are several ways to do a two-point perspective. This one I am showing you is where the parallel sides of the shape are revolved at the angle to the picture plane. So you're going to need a multi-view drawing such as a plan and elevation. So the first thing to do is to establish the angle that the space or the object makes with the picture plane. This becomes clear when the space or the object is seen in the plan view and the angle can be drawn. So to notice that the plan is placed on my board and it's slightly angled, it is not parallel to the straight rule. And on the bottom, that's where my perspective image is going to be. The next thing to do is to establish where my station point is. So where am I looking at? And keep in mind the 60 degree cone of vision. So far, we have established the line of sight or the position of the spectator. So when in position, bear in mind the cone of vision, that all the objects should be seen within the cone. So now we're going to have to is plotting the vanishing point in the perspective view. We will do that by drawing lines from the station point that is parallel to the sides of the space to join the picture plane. So now we have to establish the picture plane. The picture plane can be anywhere on the plan, but I'm choosing this corner where the picture plane is. This corner is going to be very important later on where I will need to establish height in my perspective image. So a really important note about the picture plane, changing the position of the picture plane will not affect the perspective view. The perspective image will appear larger when the picture plane is moved further away from the station point. The next steps in plotting where the vanishing points are is to draw parallel lines of the space from the station point to the picture plane. So here I'm dialing in the angle using the adjustable triangle. So once you have these points located on the picture plane, you're going to draw vertical lines to your perspective image. In this case, my perspective image is going to be below the plan, so I'm going to draw vertical lines down. So the next thing I'm going to do is to draw a horizontal line down where my perspective image is going to be, and that's going to be my horizon line. And the horizon line is relative to where the ground line is. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Okay. Back to establishing those vanishing points. So where the points I have established on the picture plane, I'm drawing a vertical line to the horizon line. So the point that I just made on the horizon line on the left, that is the vanishing point left. And the point on the right on the horizon line, that is vanishing point right. So now you have established your vanishing point left and your vanishing point right. The other information we'll need to construct this perspective is the height of the space. And we have an elevation with that information. Okay, to determine the height of the perspective, let's look at the plan again. So, the point where the picture plane intersects with the corner of the plan, I'm drawing a vertical line to the perspective image. Using the same scale as the plan and elevation, now I can establish height onto this line where the perspective image is. This vertical line on your perspective image is the only line that is the same scale as your plan and elevation. This line will help you project other heights on your perspective image. We have everything in place now. So now we can start to draw a two-point perspective. So from your station point, draw a line to a corner of your plan to the picture plane. It's really important to keep your pencil sharp when you are projecting these lines. So sharpen your pencil often. The point of intersection on the picture plane, draw a vertical line down to the perspective image. You can repeat that again on the other corner.
since the partition is facing left, we can draw the converging line from the vanishing point left to where the height of that line is. So throughout this whole process, I'm going to use tracing paper to help me see this perspective drawing. So here I am locating where the opening is on the plan and project that onto the perspective image. And I'm using the same technique again, drawing lines from the station point to the picture plane and then drawing the vertical line down to where the perspective image is. So I can also determine the height of that opening by using that reference height line that we have established earlier. So just remember, your converging lines are either going to the vanishing point on the right or vanishing point to the left. Once you have worked out all your lines on the perspective image by using tracing paper, then you can draw in your finished line. At this point, I can go ahead and establish the other partition next to the first one that we have created by using the same method. Keep using tracing paper to help you see the perspective image. Lines are either converging to the left or to the right. And to help you determine that, you can always look at the plan. So there's an angle ceiling, but I'm going to draw it as the same height as the other wall. I'm going to figure out the height and the angle a little bit later. Now I've projected all the walls from the plan to the perspective. Now I can figure out some other elements such as, in this case, the window here. And we know that the window is about three feet high and the opening is four feet. So using the reference line, 
where the heights are. I can project those dimensions to the plane where the windows are. Okay, here's another closer look at what I did. I'm using the reference line where the height is and I'm projecting those dimensions of the window back to the plane of the window. Okay, let's figure out that angle ceiling and the overall height. Again, using the reference vertical line with the heights, I can measure the elevation and project the points and dimensions that I need for the back of that plane. To figure out the angle, I just need to figure out where the angle starts on the plan. Like before, draw a line from the station point to where the start of the angle roof is. Where it intersects the picture plane, draw a vertical line down to your perspective image. This line here that I'm drawing, technically, it should go to another set of vanishing point. But I'm going to eyeball it. Make sure it's not parallel to the other line. Remember, this is a perspective. This table doesn't have the same angle as the plan. There's several ways we can figure this out. We can either plot the points or we can establish new set of vanishing points. So just like before, we're going to find out what the angle is of the table and then we're going to project those lines to the picture plane and then draw them down to the horizon line to establish a new set of vanishing points for that table. To find out where the start of the table, we're going to draw a line from the table to the picture plane. You can locate the points where the table starts now, just like how we locate the windows and the opening earlier. Remember to use the right set of vanishing point for the table and not the set of vanishing point that we use to construct the space. Again, we're going to use that reference line where the heights are to locate the height of the table.
I'm going to finish this drawing by freehanding it. 